In section three, components of a business dashboard. In video one, we'll look at the workbook template. We'll be discussing dashboard sizes, whether you choose an automatic or a custom range, headers and footers, a company logo, where relevant, user-friendly icons, placeholder calculations, format workbook, worksheet placeholders, and worksheet headers. So here we have template, a business template. Firstly, we can discuss the sizes. You can see here, I've got a custom 1400 to 800. Majority of monitors are between the 1920s dimensions. So you can easily just adjust the size as you see fit. And we, we can see from here that if we choose automatic, this what happens. And if we choose fixed and decide on 1400 and 800. So the look and feel in this scenario is mainly when it goes onto Tableau server. Due to the fact that we're not using Tableau Server in, in our tutorials, you can clearly see how it will look on a normal screen. Uh, yeah, pretty clean. And what we've done here is we have placeholders. When we have placeholders, we can have headers, we can have footers, we can have information icons, we can have a logo even. So if we take here, I put add the title of a dashboard and a float position in center. You just do this. Put edit that. And just say this, and so on. And limited, and that's the title of the dashboard. Now, each one of these are almost best practice. You can have six objects, which are worksheets or charts. And then you can have add filters to context if it concentrate on a particular worksheet and add key facts and indicators or bands as they call them in the in the tableau world where they refer to big ass numbers so what we want to do here is discuss user friendly icons as you can see from here we've got an eye which you can hover and that is just a worksheet we've got here a worksheet view description and all we're going to do is go to view description and on here we go to the tooltip you can see from there we can just write packed tableau training for 10.5 and a sneak preview of Tableau 2018. We just do this, give that nice and big, and just go on to options, choose the bold, and give that 24, give it an orange for a packed sign, make this one into 14, and then just like that. So now if we go back to the template, we have that. Simple yet effective. It allows a lot of visual context where you don't have to add another dashboard to add more additional information. Next, we want to go into formatting a workbook. This is the dashboard. It has specific fonts, it has sizes. But as we've done in previous videos, we can just as easily format the workbook. So obviously, if we have a particular sheet, uh, let's say if we go to forecast and just go to here and say format the workbook. This evening has got format the fonts, the worksheets, the grid lines, the lines, and then let's click on more. And you have a lot more rulers, etc., etc., etc. In our example, all we're simply doing is using standard fonts, nice little sizes here. These are just objects at the moment, but they're placeholder objects, like placeholder worksheets, if you like. And you've got the worksheet headers themselves. I mean, if you were to drag, say, for example, let's see what we've got in our options. Say we have what if forecast, and we put what if forecast is here. That actually would take some, that's a bit more easier. I'll take forecast there. Put forecast there. Let me just get rid of this bit for our first context. You can see from there, that is the sales forecast worksheet title or worksheet header. You also can have placeholder calculations. So we can go into this particular one and we could say, if we go to here, create a calculation, we'll just call it sample calc. In here, you'll have your comments. This calculation will be used to build a percentage. So you have a placeholder calculation there. Oh, what's happening here? Something very strange here. I think it should allow us to have comments, but for some reason, oh, well, nevertheless, we'll do the other. So a sample calculation, say for example, on sales, divide that by quantity, let's do a sum. And a sum of quantity, and have that as a sample calculation. What this means is, you know the, when you're doing the before you viz, in our previous videos it simply means you can have a calculation with fake data or dummy data but you then can populate with real data once the concept is to the requirement 
So again, we go for our dashboard. We can have all these things here. But we can go to there. And there we could say sample calc. Let's put that there. There you go. Sample calc is right next to it. Let me just go to our dashboard. And there we go. So this is what we're doing. We're covering the, everything in the, in Tableau with regards to creating uh, the business dashboard components.